All right, the time is 12.30. Oh man, look at that line, man. Snap, am I gonna have to cancel another order? All right, uh, we accepted a $7 order. DoorDash, DoorDash takes even longer than Uber Eats for three and a half miles. Look at that line, man. Uh, let's see, let's see. Look guys, I don't want to be the one to complain a lot about these, about anything. But look, pick up time, pick up by 12.31 and it is 12.38 for $7. And I still have to drive like three miles. So that's the thing, that's the thing man. If DoorDash wants us to, to do this, like they have to, I don't know man. They have to get it together with McDonald's and all these other companies that don't use the app. That they use their own POS system, you know. But whatever, do we are. All right, now we are 10 minutes past the pickup time. 12:31, and it's 12:41. I haven't canceled it yet because I'm still um, waiting for Uber Eats orders and Instacart orders. I'm by, I'm still by Publix, so I'm still waiting. All right, so we got the order. 13 minutes later, and boom, I got an order right as they were packing this up. Seven dollars for two miles, Uber Eats. Seven dollars and eighty cents, and I'm like, oh come on, man, why you gotta offer this to me now? But whatever, man, I didn't accept it. I didn't accept it. So we're gonna get this delivered. I'm not gonna come back to this McDonald's though, because it happened in the beginning of the video. I had to cancel it. They're just not on their. They're not on their A game, I guess. Or nah, not that. Not that they're not on their A game. My bad. It's just the manager was there, you know, pressuring. The employees and employees, you think they care, bro? They don't get paid enough for that. Well, according to a lot of people in the comments, they get paid a lot. So, I don't know, man. But let's go deliver. Let's do it. Interesting. DoorDash made me put the last three digits of the DoorDash order number. That's interesting. I don't know why they would do that. Uh, I don't know. But let's go. All right, guys. Time is 1.05 p.m. And we accepted a... Instacart. I know my seatbelt, my bad. Instacart, another seven dollars, seven dollars seventy cents or something. Three items. So, whatever, bro. I'm gonna start doing this. I mean, I can't make two hundred dollars by cherry picking. So, I want to make it. The goal is to make it as fast as possible. So, waiting for bangers. Let's say I wait for a, a seventy dollar banger. That's gonna take me maybe six hours if I do get it. And once I do get it. I finish it and then waiting for another banger. Nah, I'd rather just, I guess, chip at it, bro. Little by little, it's a lot more work, man. But, but I mean, look at these, look at these guns. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's go get it. All right, since these orders are seven dollars, I go running in now. I don't take my time anymore. I run into the store. All right, the first two items are super easy. It's right here in the Asian section. Ten fluid ounces of this. Bro, I can't find the duck sauce. Oh, I found the duck sauce, man. Finally, oh my goodness, right here. All right, right here, last item, apple pie, and then we're done, that's it. Right here, guys, apple pie, the small one. All right, my people, it's been five minutes and we're done. Uh, could have been less, but it's okay. Let's go pay for this and deliver the store. Guys, the time is 124. We accepted a $7.50 order for like four and a half miles. I like this strategy, man. I'm making money faster. And if I want to do this, I'm going to accept a lot more orders. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to make it. Because right now on this video and on the last video, I have to put my camera like close to my belt line. So I have to I have, a, I have a thing where I'm going to rip my shirt pretty much and have like the lens only there. So and I have the GoPro strap. So I'm always, I always have it here. So I'm gonna do that probably tonight so that I could speed up these the videos and then like you could see a lot. Like I could record most footage and then cut it to the way where like the video goes fast and you like you're you're engaged, you know? Because that, that's gonna keep the engagement level high. Yeah, if everything's if there's always something happening, pa 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 pa. And that's uh you know, that's uh in case you guys wanna do YouTube content, you know, if you don't have crazy editing skills like me. You just make sure you're always doing something in your videos. Da, da, da. Like I do a lot of talking, which I always think that that 
is bad for engagement but a lot of you guys say that is that you guys like me talking a lot so uh, so I just continue talking but but I think you know it's good if you have you're always doing something like on the video is what I'm saying but we're here it's a uh, subway eat fresh let's get it all right we're here guys let's go all right my people we got it let's deliver let's do it all right the time is 153 we accepted an eight dollar eight item order Publix the items are easy what I'm doing with these orders is I'm looking at the items and it's not, if it's not something that if it's something that for sure is gonna be there then I get it it's like it can't be hard items all right let's go all right, first item in the back now we need some watermelon so let's get this one real quick and then a small cantaloupe chunks or chunks my bad small one of these forks. let's get two forks for the customer here right here two forks all right we're getting three lemons make sure that they're squeezable right here three squeezable lemons all right let's see if we could get lucky with the french bread this is baguettes french bread this is probably a french bread right here bam right here all right two six paper towels two six paper towels all right we need sliders but the but the chicken breast sliders. All right, they don't have chicken breast sliders. Oh, they do back here. Oh, if I won't get one free, and they want two. Right. Okay, so we got the last two. Thank goodness. All right, my people. It's been five and a half minutes, and we're done. We're able to get everything. This would have been a bad story if there was if they didn't have anything left. I would have to contact the customer, and man, for eight dollars, like, come on. But so far everything's been good what i'm doing is i'm looking at the items i'm making sure that nine times out of ten those items are in stock nothing crazy like deadly items that have to be waiting or anything like that all right so i'm being smart about the seven dollar orders that i take and eight dollars all right let's go all right the notes say do not leave right in front of the door the door opens out which one of my fellow neighbors do this the name my neighbor shoppers which one of you guys do it huh uh -huh, let me know Look guys, this is an order I won't take because it's two subs and it's highly possible those subs aren't even ready and I'm gonna get stressed out if I don't, if, it, if I go there and it's not ready and then two popcorn chickens, who knows if those popcorn chickens are even gonna be there. So this one, even though it's three items, it's a no guys. I'm not gonna take the risk. All right guys, so we accepted a better order. It's $9 for this Coke Zero, a personal care mouthwash and then three bags of ice is for another Publix but but it's close enough that i could just take it guys because i'm at a i'm at this publix which is another one but it's still close enough so let's go get these three items it should be quick and it should be in stock let's go boom love it first item quick nice and quick love it this mouthwash right here i need two of them all right we need three bags of ice two three right here all right now coke zero and then we're done all right it's been two and a half minutes and we are done love it man when i went to go get this mini coke like everyone just decided oh let's go here around the coke section so i had to leave but we got it all right so two and a half minutes i love it guys let's go pay for this and deliver let's do it guys i got this crazy offer 33 dollars for 66 miles would you guys do it let me know 33 dollars 66 miles all right my people the time is 3 12 and we accepted a $9 Uber Eats order at Miller's L House. $9 for like three and a half miles. Let's go. Hello. Here we go. What's the name? Can I see you confirm, please? Yes, confirm. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, my people, we got the order. Oh my goodness, I love it. Let's go. All right, my people, the time is 325. Look at how much we have on the screen right now. I don't know how much, I think it's 80 bucks, 57 miles, 57 miles. So I'm gonna, okay, I'll tell you now. So I'm gonna start recording right now and just start start grinding, hustling, but I'm gonna keep the counter on and then I will get with you guys once we're, once we're ready to, to, once we're done and we're ready to put gas. And then after that footage, after the gas footage, I'll get with you guys on the final numbers. All right, let's go. Bro, what is all these cops here? Is this uh like a hotel? The UM football team just won. Are they is that is that what it is? That's probably what it is, man. The UM football team just beat Texas or not Texas AM 
And that's a hotel, maybe a player or something. Someone famous maybe there. That's crazy. I'm gonna tell you, look, it's, I'm, I'll am i tell you guys the, the time now. We're, we're gonna do our last order right now, guys. All right, the time is 9.44. It is 9.45. We can do better math with 9.45, guys. So it's 9.45 p.m., remember that? And then we are at 118 miles. Remember that as well, 118 miles. 9:45. Let's go. We're gonna put on. We're gonna put some gas real quick. All right. So this is a uh, 3:69. But you know what? I'm not gonna drive all the way to where I usually put gas, and then I spend an extra few bucks. And then you guys said, "Oh, you see, Joey's." No, I wanna make it exactly how much I spent for the amount of driving I did. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. 3:69 though. Usually it's cheaper where I'm at, but I'm in Coral Gables. It's expensive here, man. Okay, so the previous guy spent $98. So that's, uh, that's a lot of money, guys. That guy, $98. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put our money in right now. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, number well with this number 118 miles and what was the time 9:45. we could i'll get with you guys on the final numbers let's go let me show you guys again the the cops with the hotel i don't know what's going on over here but let's check it out what is that a bunch of cops is a hotel or maybe something maybe it's, maybe it's something happened maybe something happened who knows that's a lot of police at a coral gables inn that's what it's called coral gables inn all right, now I go with you guys on the final numbers. All right, guys, the time is 10.03. I just accepted an order that is literally taking me the exact direction of my house anyway. So I'm like, bro, I gotta find a way to pay for this gas. So I'm gonna see, when I do the ending video, I'll see how I could do the numbers. I don't know, maybe I could add in this time right here. Oh, I just reset it, I just reset it my, um, I don't know, I just reset my thing, my meter. I don't know, it's a $10 order, bro, come on. Uber Eats for one item, I think, one mile. Come on. Let's do the order and then we'll, we'll decide what to do later, but let's do it. All right, guys, we got the order. This was literally the, this was it. This was the order, uh, iPhone charger from CVS. We're at CVS and that's it. I'm gonna deliver it, what time is it? 10 away, we'll probably deliver it by 10.15. Okay. All right, guys, with my luck, this is a hotel order and I have to put a pin on it. I gotta put a pin. Bro, the last order of the day has to be one of these types of orders. I haven't had, had an order like this the whole day. And then the last one, the one that I just wanna go home is that one. Come on, man, come on, man. All right, guys, new numbers. The time is 10.15. We're pulling up to the, to the hotel right now. This is a... Uh, Hotel delivery, the Hilton, right here. And so so we're gonna clock out at 10.15 so we can do the numbers correctly. And these are the new numbers, look, seven miles. So whatever we had before, add seven miles, because remember, I had to drive back. I got this order on, it's only a mile, it was a mile order, but I had to drive all the way back, guys. Remember, I'm I'm giving you guys every single mile, even the dead miles. That's, uh, that's what's unique about Joey's Delivers, guys. I give you guys all the miles, not just the delivery miles, every single mile that I did, okay? So 10, 15, seven plus whatever I gave you earlier, and then add the $10 or whatever that I'm gonna make, or I don't know, and then we'll get with, I'll get with you guys on those final numbers. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Oh my goodness, bro, we got an order, hold on. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to do a challenge and I can't get an order, guys, but it's okay, all right. All right, 
Okay, if you made it to the end, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. On Instacart, we made $126.70. On Uber Eats, we made $79.33. And on DoorDash, we made $7 flat for a total of $213.03, I believe it was, I think, because I, I just did the numbers. Here are the orders that we did off camera. Instacart, we did $9.61 order, $4.59 base pay, $5.02 tip, $7.92 order, $5.92 order, $2 tip, $7.91 order, $5.91 base pay, $2 tip. $13.56 order, $6.15 base pay, $7.41 tip. $12.72 order, $5.69 base pay, $7.03 tip. And then $21.76 order, $11 base pay, $10.15 tip. And then the Uber Eats orders, $15.69, 8.3 3 miles, 41 minutes to complete. $7.56 order, 3.9 miles, 19 minutes to complete. $9.25 order, 2.0 seven miles 19 minutes to complete thirteen dollars and thirty seventy one cent order eight point one miles thirty four minutes to complete and then ten dollars and nine cent order two point two point eight miles sixteen minutes to complete and that is pretty much it the ten dollars and nineteen nine cent order that's the order that we did in the end we're like oh my goodness all right here are the numbers guys here are the numbers i'm gonna give you guys the numbers right now so we did remember 118 miles plus the seven miles in the end 125 miles we drove we worked from 9 15 in the morning to 10 15 p.m in total that is 13 hours guys and that's how long it took to make the 200 dollars 213 dollars and three cents to 13 hours and we made if you divide 213.03 divided by 125 miles that is one dollar and seventy cents per mile and if you want to do the hourly for the whole 13 hours that is $213.03 divided by 13 hours. That is 16 hours. I mean, $16.38 per mile. And this is how much we made minus gas. We spend, it said $18.97, right? But we did another order. We, we, we spent like another three cents, bro. Not more than that. So $19. Let's go three cents. So, you know, so just do the math right. So we spent $19 in gas. So $213.03 minus $19 in gas, that is $194.03, guys. And that is pretty much it. I'm not gonna do the numbers with uh, subtracting the gas because that, that's gonna attract a lot more trolls. I'm already probably gonna get trolls. Oh, you might as well work at McDonald's. So if I do the minus gas, bro, whatever, man. That's the expense, guys. We are not employees. If you go to Target, if you go to Walmart, if you go to McDonald's and they say, hey, we pay $15 an hour. Do you tell them, hey, how much do you pay after taxes? You don't do that. You don't do that, guys. You tell them how much you pay, $15. All right, but you don't account for the gas. I mean, for the taxes that, that they take out. They take out a lot of taxes, guys. So uh, with that being said, we are entrepreneurs. We are independent contractors. The $19 is just expenses that I'm going to do at the end of the year. So deduct no i don't deduct gas i deduct mileage so the mileage uh man should we do should i do that um uh, man you know what? it's already too late guys i, I would have done that i would have done that for real though deduct the mileage and then see how much i have to pay in taxes deducting that but it's pretty much if you deduct mileage and expenses you know taxes shouldn't be that crazy guys it shouldn't be that crazy it should be maybe the same exact thing as as a job like 10 12 percent and if you if you really go hard on the expenses if you start buying a bunch of things you might even not pay anything that's what these billionaires do bro that's what the billionaires do that's why they don't pay any taxes because they they put everything ex expense expense this expense that like i'm cutting my hair i do that as an expense because i'm an entertainer so i need to cut my hair you know to look good in camera because that that's an expense you know a lot of people they put they deduct their yachts their cars because that's an expense or oh, i need a yacht to do my business i need a yacht to to drive over there like elon musk he flies all oh every billionaire flies everywhere the jet fuel that jet the jet fuel that all that is an expense and then they don't pay anything they might even get a refund a lot of times you know amazon they got a refund a few years back and they got 
so much backlash because they're making so much money and they're getting a refund while your middle class you know middle class citizen is paying all this money in taxes or whatever you might get a refund you know if you if you if you did the a lot of people okay for me i always get a refund when i had jobs but a lot of people they don't get refunds because they take away they put in their w-2 that they take away the so they could take away the least amount of taxes so they could get more money back every paycheck you know but in the end they end up having to pay or whatever or you know stuff like that me i always tell them hey take away the most so by the end of the year I get a refund. You know, stuff like that. Like that. Okay, this is not a tax video. Okay, guys, if you made it to the end of this journey, though, my lovely humans, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch 50 videos of me doing delivery, just subscribe with my people. Have a good day. Have a good year. Have a good career. Stay hustling out there. Thank you guys for watching part one and part two of um, making $200 as fast as possible. Can I make it faster than that? Uh, You know what? I am going to do a video. The last time I did $200, I forgot how much time it took but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys i got like two instagram bangers when i made the 200 dollars. i'm gonna come i'm gonna do a video like comparing that time that i made 200 i made 200 a few times but i guess the last time 200 plus 200 now this time that's a good video guys okay but uh can i make it again bro it's hard okay 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 have a good year guys it's your boy juicy let's go